stuff. You know, this is this is like one of the 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 the, the bad parts about our friendship is we're both perfectionists. Yeah. It's and a so like we'll <laughs> we'll both make something really cool and then we'll both encourage each other. We'll be like, oh my God, no, like it looks amazing. It looks amazing. And we'll tear it down because we don't like it ourselves. Mm-hmm. And then we encourage each other in that still. We're like, no, it yeah, like I get it. Yeah. You're like, no, you were right for tearing it down, even though like five <laughs> minutes ago I told you it was like the best thing that has happened since sliced bread. <laughs> yes. Shall, shall we boop? We should definitely boop. Okay. Three, two, one. Boop. boop. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Balboa Zoo episode nine. We are almost to double digits. <laughs> <laughs> it's only taken 17 years. I'm Remnant and I'm joined with my best friend, Jash. Hello. Hello. Um, it's been a while. The last episode of Balboa Zoo was in March of last year. You're lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I do have a question. Ooh, what is your question? Am I still the small petite elephant? <laughs> or you have are. I have I grandstanded and graduated to the fat one that's laying down in the water <laughs> in that year? I mean, it depends. <laughs> on, if you want to graduate to a fatter <laughs> elephant, uh, I would just stay the smaller one. If I were you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it it's been a year and, and then some. Things obviously are looking very different um, for those of you who have kept up with the with the series. So this is kind of like the the new entrance, which is going to make its debut. I don't know when, but <laughs> it's going to be um, it's it's a whole different entry area. And I've so I've shown Josh some stuff, but um, I just wanted to make it a little bit more historic looking. So yeah, I'm excited for them to see it because you've done a really good job, and it's even though it's still very much under construction now like i can see the direction it's going it's going to be amazing all right so we are kind of in the middle of the zoo now um so last time i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of bring us through here um last time we were over here we wyatt built his orangutan exhibit which is over here Mm -hmm. um and he had you know it's like some backstage buildings and stuff over here that i did take away um, and I added, you know, like this, this courtyard and, um, this, this courtyard was here last time, but I don't think like this corner was here. So we have like this fun little meeting area, which the fountain and stuff was here, but I mm-hmm. kind of fleshed it out a little bit more. Um, yeah, I like this little intersection here. It's like, um, uh, it's just like a great area where like several points come to a to a head and it's Mm -hmm. it's something that could be referenced like if you're with family or friends like as a meeting spot or i'm over by the whatever you know what i mean Mm -hmm. right and i i talk about i've talked about this before but just when you're planning out layouts for anything you do need some sort of visual break Mm -hmm. um and the whole way leading to this area is very narrow it's very enclosed and so you just kind of need like a visual breath (laughs) and you know like a physical breath of fresh air so the area that we're going to look at today is the gorilla gorilla tropics area um and before we go over there though i would love to kind of venture over here and take a gander at this building love this yes so this is um a direct rip for the most part from a little coffee shop in san diego zoo and it's actually right next to the um the orangutan exhibit um but i decided to put it here look she's even waving um (laughs) this is very cute yeah i love it um i love those sliding doors right i don't you know me i don't really do um like interiors (laughs) so this was like as we look at this okay (laughs) so with that said though like i am very detail oriented and i told you this whole time like during this process I'm like i was channeling my inner jash trying to get all of these details right you know i'm a sucker for a coffee shop so yeah <laughs> this is gorge like i love the decor i love the vibe mm-hmm. um thanks it's like zooey and like quick service without and i love that monstera in the corner work um 
but I love it's just like a, just a little casual joint that just come in and grab something and go or you can sit for a little while it's really cool right yeah a lot of these little like assets are from um, I believe um, Shifsy and Ricey mm-hmm. um, who have just both made such amazing uh, assets for for 100%. gift shops like this it's yeah. nice to not have to think about <laughs> that thermos is everything <laughs> right and then um, you know Christina made obviously this um i i love adding those paintings wherever i can i know they look so good yeah um i actually made this freezer (laughs) work because i i wasn't (laughs) able to find a a good one that i like looked exactly like what i wanted so i hope it kind of conveys what of course uh, it's like a little look like a little grab and go we love that yeah and i think that these little treats in here are by drac um and i know that this is also by someone and i'll put it I'll put it a link for the, the workshop. Um, is that I also the, the egg incubator from Twin Palms? I think it is, yeah. <laughs> the turtle egg <laughs> incubator. Yes. But yes, it's just a cute little coffee shop. I think one thing that I need to add is like a menu. Um, I just <laughs> haven't added that yet, but um, that'll be added in the future. Yeah. But I do really like the vibe of how it's looking. Yeah, same. I mean, it's, uh, I love the. I love the organic elements in it. So like the woods and Mm -hmm. uh, the different types of woods and the neutral tones. And I don't know, it's just very on brand for like mine and your like personal design aesthetic. (laughs) And this area out here is kind of just a little area to, to sit and have your coffee and other, other baked goods. I really love this little, just this tiny little, I guess, plaza or eating area. Um, I yeah, think it's, I mean it's it's ne- it's necessary for the flow of the mm-hmm. zoo for sure, and it's very well done. Like you have several points of entry, not only to the little plaza, but also the the actual coffee shop too. And you can see a gorilla from here. Yes, you can. <laughs> which you is can, cool. And so that's also a very important thing. And I don't remember who said this, but it was someone in the community. They said like. If you have any sort of eating area, there needs to be some sort of view to see the animals. So, yeah, agree. Um, I, you know, wanted to implement that. Yeah, a hundred percent. This is, um, this is all very well done. Thank you. Thank you. Um, these, this font is by uh, Wyatt Andrews. So, um, this is this is very much based off of um, what's currently at the San Diego Zoo. Um, but with like a ton of <laughs> creative like liberties uh, on my on my end, there's like this upper viewing area for for the gorillas, mm-hmm. um, that you can kind of just like stand over here, which is nice um, to kind of look over these people's heads that are down here, yeah. and that's something that I've always thought was kind of important to just have two different ways of viewing, especially for a zoo like this that gets crazy crowded, you know? Yeah, for sure. I love um, the um. I like the industrial style of like the metal beams and stuff too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's, it's funny with, with this, with these like planters up here, I wanted them to look just like defunct. Like they like are that. just not, they're <laughs> not putting anything in there anymore. But like back in the day, maybe like in the early 2000s, late nineties, when they, when they made this, yeah. Um, this was probably like painted a different color, like a different pastel color. Mm-hmm. And this was like, had like cascading, like, you know, yeah. uh, plants coming out. I'm just going to say it probably had like an irrigation line in it that stopped working at some yes. point in time. And they were just like, eh, <laughs> absolutely. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> They're like the, the jungle is like grown in so much now. It's fine. Are these some Always, custom trees here too? Yes. This one is a custom tree um, that I made and it's a bunch of, these these plants um put together it's very piece heavy (laughs) i'm sure mike would correct me but it looks like some sort of big like ficus or something that's kind of what i was trying to model it after um Mm -hmm. and uh i just wanted it to look very oh not even like jungly but very something you would see in like southern california like i feel like i see these at like every mall (laughs) that i go to (laughs) great Um, great tree friend Yes, thank you. Um, And then these, this custom tree is by um, Haribo. I stole it from Broadwell. (laughs) (laughs) Haven't heard from her in three months. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, where's she? She's on the way. Yeah, okay. So then to get to this little lower viewing area, you get to go through this area. 
Um, these signs are kind of, they're like older signs by Jess Goron. He has newer gorilla signs, but I kind of like these ones. I, I, I kind those, of like how, yeah, they're, they're simple. Um, and the newer ones, they, they were just, they had a little bit more text on them and I just didn't yeah. really, I just kind of wanted it to be very implied, like simple. Yeah. Um, I like how small these are too. They're like perfect size. And then I kind of really like that there is a glimpse into a very like small sliver that you can see of the backstage. Mm -hmm. um, and you also see that kind of like up here too, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, I love that catwalk up there. Yeah. And it's, I mean, you can't even really tell it's there unless like you look, but I, that's one thing I love about like theme parks and zoos, like being yeah. able to see like little bits and pieces of backstage. Yeah. Is, is I cool. mean, there's, there's almost like an art form to like blending in functionality mm -hmm. versus like aesthetic and Mm -hmm. I think if you can kind of like nail that, it just adds like so much more to the realism. And that's why <laughs> this backstage building is just blaring right here. Yeah, it's like we're not even going to try to hide it. I mean, no, we'll, like they, we'll put they a rock mount in front, it. but that's it. <laughs> yeah, they tried to hide it with like the go away green color. Yeah. Um, And at the San Diego Zoo, it, it, it's basically laid out like this, but they have like it's like a mural over it, which um, mm -hmm. I just didn't. I didn't even want to try. <laughs> No, so this, I just I just went with the totally fine the going ring yeah like all the gorillas like even in game like they they mm -hmm. walk over here and they'll they'll sleep over here so yeah that is one thing um, you did really well with this exhibit because you've shown me photos of it um along the way I mean honestly how long has this been in the works like a year even though you, like you've you can tell you've taken your time with this exhibit because they utilize like every square inch of it which is really cool and sometimes hard yeah. to do in game like. There will be just random things that just totally cut off their traversable area, but you've found a way to make it all work and they use it a lot. I would rather just see them play up here and like going on all of this than like not being able, even able to access this because, you know, I just wanted to build climbing structures that they don't even use. Yeah, I mean, this almost just feels like this is like a natural environment for them, I think. So mm -hmm. I think it serves its purpose well without having to have, you know, these avant-garde climbing structures all over the place right um love all of the new foliage that we got with the latest pack and i'm actually glad that i waited you know to yeah for real because yeah. knowing you you would have redone it because this all looks <laughs> way <laughs> way good like the the foliage they gave us this time around was like they knocked it out of the park it's insane it's it's crazy um, more of this please <laughs> yes yeah you can tell the stuff that you really like the most at the zoo because it's you've been able to translate it into the game in your own way, which still you can tell exactly where it's from, which mm -hmm. I think is cool and unique. This is in another viewing area. Um, this is like one, this is like my favorite viewing area, just because yeah, it's like nice. you see you see like the tower in the back, and it's just like a very um, composed uh, view. This is something that I like to do um, with my exhibit designs is like you have like a first view into it and that's kind of like what you're you know that's like your introduction to it mm -hmm. and then as you are going through the exhibit more you kind of have these more zoomed in composed views um yeah and it's almost like a forced way to look at at things mm -hmm. um so that's what i wanted to to bring into this one it's still very much like a, a wide <laughs> landscape view yeah. Um, but you're really only seeing this. And if you want, I mean, this is also kind of a cool view too. Like you can come over here and you can see this other viewing area. Yeah. Well, um, I like this too, because this kind of puts you in the exhibit, which is cool. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously you feel some sort of connection when you're at the other one, but it's like looking at it through glass versus being in open air with these mm -hmm. animals that are just like 10 yards away from you is like totally mm -hmm. different feeling. And I right. always feel like when you do areas like this, you always like once you, you kind of take a step back and you're like, will this area like would this area photograph well, <laughs> which I yeah. think is important and kind of a cool thing that you do. Yeah, I'm just I'm very, very visual with that. It's it's I, I guess this is like kind of backwards, um, but I I always think about the, the the guest, like the guest experience before I even start thinking about the animals <laughs> experience or their yeah. welfare um and it just when it comes to like a design aspect like i want to i want to make sure that like the guest point of view and their experience is um like a really cool and unique one and then and then kind of like the animal um 
design and exhibit kind of falls into place because you've already outlined mm -hmm. the area with how the guests are going to experience it. So yeah. for the longest time, I had a really hard time with this. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, and then I just decided, like, let's make it kind of, you know, look like it's like, uh, you know, like one solid piece of land. And then, you know, uh, to make it functional and plausible, uh, add like a moat. Um, mm -hmm. But when, when you're standing here, you don't really, you can't really tell. Yeah, no, not at all. Did they actually utilize the motor? Is it, um, can they not get down there? They, they can't get down there, but I put like these here just like, yeah, you know, if they were to fall over here or something. Right. Um, but I mean, and that does seem like kind of like a far fall, but I, I feel like this is stuff that you, that you see, like at the oh, San Diego sure. kind of, yeah. it's very similar. And, um, I mean there's cliffs in the wild so they just they're Absolutely. not stupid they're not going to fall off of it <laughs> and you i mean you also don't want to make it like the point of it is that that kind of traps them and keeps them from right. going any further than that so you don't want to entice them to be like oh i can jump down there <laughs> right and then so let's go ahead and go over here so this one day is going to go to the the uh, bonobo exhibit okay <laughs> Which we had, that was a very fun experience when we went, oh God. when we saw them in person. <laughs> that was terrifying. Yeah. That was. They just, they basically like, what did they do? Like they, they just looked at us blankly, like yeah, stared at it us, was all like, of them. It was oddly quiet until it was no longer oddly quiet. And then they just like flipped their shit and was like screaming and slapping the glass and stuff. I was scared that was it was funny it was really funny <laughs> yeah so one day that's gonna go over there um and we'll we'll see that one day eventually this is cool I yeah love so all this these waterfalls like, yeah so this is like another very small um little uh other viewing area um yeah definitely love the the waterfalls um this is something that, that i really like about the the main um the, the actual exhibit at the san diego zoo is mm -hmm their use of you know waterfalls and um just movements which i feel like is such an important thing too like this game besides the besides the the animals it's very static um yeah. and so you kind of need movement wherever you can put it um and sadly like one of the only things in the game is like water <laughs> yeah. so well you you've you kind of do these waterfalls that we have in game because it's it's hard to make them look this convincing let's just be honest and mm -hmm. call a spade a spade it's it can be difficult if you just place one down it's not going to look like this and you have um you have a way of kind of making them look very natural which is cool i think of like haribo making waterfalls and they <laughs> yeah. look amazing yeah like it's like every water particle has been planned out i know i'm like but... what piece did you use and he's like what are you talking about it's a waterfall and i'm like mine doesn't look like that <laughs> Like he'll, I mean, he'll do like the, 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 fa the actual fountains and like make mm -hmm. it, you know, angle it a certain way, which I do, I've done in certain areas too. But for this one, like, so, I mean, when it comes to up here, <laughs> like I just took this rock and made sure that it curved in front of it. So it looked like there was an actual curve <laughs> in the waterfall. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> so it's all about and, force perspective. <laughs> right. It is like, you're never going to see this from another angle. So that's just what I did. Um, right. And, you know, it saves on peace count. It saves on my, my sanity. And um, I do like the look of these big waterfalls, um, which I feel personally I, I, I can't achieve by just doing those little fountain pieces. Mm -hmm. I love all the different shades of green back there, too. Like, it's very yeah. lush um, and overgrown and looks great. Yeah. Thanks. It, like, you kind of don't really know where it starts and where it begins, which is yeah. which is what I wanted. Okay, so let's go ahead and can you hear? So another, this is like another, you know, I just wanted to add some movement, some. Um, this is gorgeous. You know, just some, uh, like a sight line that kind of draws you in. Look at that shadow but on yeah. the ground. Jeez. That sense of discovery, like coming around the corner, looks so good. Like, because yes. you, you go from this like very natural, like, I don't want to like keep saying organic, but organic like exhibit. And then there's just this beautiful building that mm -hmm. kind of catches you off guard yep can we talk about my puddles on the floor please <laughs> how did you do that <laughs> so this was a a hack that i saw by leader and it's just the window panels like those ones that 
give oh. like they just give light. Yeah, um, the emissive. Like, emissive, yeah. yeah. Emissive glass or something. Um, and then it's just with the grunge put over it. Um Wow. <laughs> yeah. And so it may it's kind of like adds like a cool reflection slash It literally looks like a water puddle. So this area is unique in the fact that I wanted to show that this used to be um this used to be where the bonobos were before. Okay. Um, they were I in was like wondering. this. Yeah. They were in this house and it was like, you know, like the primate house. Mm -hmm. Um and since since then they've been moved, you know, they're going to eventually be down here and I'm thinking to clear some of this and this will be a viewing area into the the bonobos as well. Okay. Um but it's kind of a cool way to add a little bit of lore um yeah. and also a cool way to add some of the older architecture back back here. Yeah. And we love a little um, history lesson. Yeah, it's just a cool way to add some some history into it. Um, yeah, I love that. Yeah. Especially for like locals. You know what I mean? People like you that would grew up going to the zoo and you know, right. you remember when the bonobos used to be in there and then now it's like something totally different. So it's cool to mm -hmm. kind of pay homage to stuff like that. I think I think that it would almost be like, you know, when the zoo first opens, you know, mm -hmm. like back in the day, like back in the day. Yeah. Um, they were here and then they just maybe this sat dormant like for a while, you know, and um maybe it was just used for storage or something, and then yeah. they finally decided like let's put let's make an exhibit out of it. I think that you'll really dig the interior. I've shown you some, but I think that you'll I like haven't it. seen it in a while, so I know it's gonna be bomb. Okay. Sweet. Um, so we'll go in here eventually. Um but this is another really composed shot that I um really like as well it's kind of like a a very different nice viewpoint into it um i i do like that you can still see this and you can see like the catwalk <laughs> that yeah. like keepers would go on um but it is cool to kind of you know get a glimpse in here and you do feel really close sometimes they do come over here um they'll even like go up here sometimes yeah that would be cool yeah um and it's just it's cool because you don't even really see that there's another viewpoint right here um, so everything oh, for the most we part, standing. yeah, that's where we were just standing. So oh, yeah, yeah. for the most here, part, the triple waterfall is like right in front of us, just on the other side of that rock, right? Yes. Okay. So that waterfall basically splits. It goes this way and then it goes that way. Nice. Um, and I love like, I just love like all of the new foliage, like just Dude, mixing it so in. Good. It's insane. It makes such a big difference. <clears throat> it does. Um, just layering and. I, I really love how it looks and with this light right now too, it looks, mm -hmm. this looks really good. <laughs> so this um, is the fourth viewing area, right? Or third? Yeah. Mm, yeah. So one, and then you have that bigger, really wide one, mm -hmm. that small one. We just looked at this one and then, sorry. Um, and then there's one more. Oh, nice. Um, there's one more too that we'll see after we look at the, the flying Fox exhibit. Okay. Um, so this one is actually, Oh my God. Is that them flying around? Yeah. Oh hell no! I don't want to go in there. Oh, you have <laughs> you haven't seen you haven't seen like video no. of it, right? You've only seen pictures. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> I have it's a fear of birds, by the way. Even though I know these are not birds, but it's like the flying aspect. <laughs> the fl so, okay. So I've asked you before, but what you are scared of is when they spread their wings, right? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. it's not funny just, to just me. That. But it's... <laughs> just that. It just, I don't like it. I don't like <laughs> things flying at me. I don't like the, the motion of wings flapping. Like I just, I can't. Well, and, and it's never not aggressive. It's, it's, it's always, always so aggressive, aggressive. And I swear to God, they know it because they will fly directly at my face. Every time, <laughs> every single time. Like They'll I would be the right one me. standing here at the glass to view. I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> I don't need to go inside. It's cute out here. <laughs> I can honestly say that I would, I would also, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't go in there either. Um, because I've just heard, I've also heard that like, they have like rabies and stuff and I'm sure that the ones at the zoo <laughs> yeah. wouldn't. Um, but yeah, the only reason I made this a walkthrough exhibit is because they gave us that, you know, the, the functionality yeah. of doing that in this game. Like I'll give um, you a, a prime example. When we went to the zoo together, do you mm -hmm. remember that drag chicken? <laughs> while yeah. we were getting on the bus yeah. it literally found me and it was like oh here's here's the one that scared everybody come over here well when we were waiting in that line we were in that line for a while yeah and we would just see bits and pieces of of 
a tail. The, the drag chicken. <laughs> like we would see a talon. Yes. Ugh. We would see its tail. It was so it was it was really funny. Also, mind you, that was like one of the first days that we hung out ever. Yeah. So, like it was really funny. <laughs> um This is gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. So so just I mean, just kind of picture this being the old um Bonobo house. And and maybe okay. it was something like maybe it was split in half and it had the gorillas or something as well. Yeah. Um so this would be like a viewing area to see those um you know as well as over here um and it's just been converted to to you know to fit the the flying foxes yeah that's super cool you know i'm a sucker for this like natural light too so i love that you've done this curved roof that brings mm -hmm. in just floods this area with light yeah and it's it's once we go in there you'll see but i actually it looks like it floods the area with light but a lot of it is like ar artificial light that i had to make look like oh cool um yeah um which it's really cool that you're able to to use those um, those lights in the daytime. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go ahead and go in here. Um, we have just some some signs, some extra signs. Um, oh, who made those? And th Goran. these are by just Goron. <laughs> Damn, of course. It like literally looks like it's like a graphic. It, yeah, <laughs> it's literally like, it's like a, a Getty. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, we did use these in in the the latest Twin Palms episode as well, but I just I'll, like, I'll have to go watch it. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's been a while. It has. Um, Sorry. So so with this, we kind of had to have these little chambers, mm -hmm. um, so that you can kind of come in here, close this door, right, and then go in here, and you have an option of you know going through whichever one you want. So that's why this exit sign is here. If like you just go through this one, oh, okay, just to, like kind of. Um, okay, so I feel like this interior. So, Josh is a, is a plant zaddy now. I am a plant zaddy now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like you will like this interior. Okay. I um, love it already. So, just a lot of like these kind of just wall oh plants. And um, I don't know necessarily if these would be native to like wherever these bats are from or if it's just a way to kind of you know make this feel a little bit more like a rainforest but i just wanted mm -hmm. to have like a cool plant wall I love um that. yeah well i would think um do these animals do they need humidity is that why there's like i see the steam and stuff in here it's yeah they need they need humidity and they need like this kind of like this this natural yeah. light so i mean all of this whole plant wall would just naturally thrive and mm -hmm. these are like tropical plants which they it looks like they are so i think yeah. it's i think it's perfect and i love those wall mounted planters i want them for my home <laughs> these ones yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i kind of had to like retrofit so these these ones are by ricey well i think the only thing that's by ricey is like the actual the like, trailing cascading ivy. Yeah. part and then i kind of like made my own little pot nice. looks um, great yeah the the puddle effect didn't work as much here just because of like the angle that we're looking at it but once you look at it from another angle i think it's out again i think it's fine and i love yeah. that there's a puddle like directly under where that was just watered <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i just realized yeah, those are doors back there that's or a door that's cool mm -hmm. yeah it's just like you know some access into the backstage nice um yeah it's it's this this i want it to very much look like you know all of this rock work was like it's built like onto existing yeah. like architecture <laughs> that's just already there it's like if you weren't convinced it was artificial, let us prove it. <laughs> right, right. Love that. Um, and this is just like you know, it's almost like just a place for them to to fill up some wall space. Yeah. Um, Love it. And I I'd almost imagine that they wouldn't have a lot of like infographics in here because I was thinking like let's put like infographics, but it's like mm, if it's super humid and stuff, like yeah. that might not be something that would be that great in here. Yeah, um, I feel like these would be they're... appreciated more anyways. Mm -hmm. More visually right. appealing, that's for sure. Um, yeah, so I'm going to turn around. This is like Whoa. kind of like a, a view into the entire exhibit. This is so nice. Which I love. Okay, I might would actually walk through here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> would you? I think I would. Yeah. We we would guard you. We would make sure that nothing happened. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, I mean, what, what freaks me out is the fact that they just won't stop flying. Yeah. If they were just like this. They're like all over the place. 
Yeah, if they were just like this, which is how they are, so they have they have flying foxes at the safari park, um, and it isn't like it. They don't you don't walk through it. It's just like you look at them through the glass. But they just kind of are like this all time. I never see them like this, so I feel like you'd be fine. This is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Also, very difficult working with this exhibit um this walkthrough exhibit because basically it's just a box yeah you explained Um, it to me a bit there's stuff that you can't remove right so you just have to kind of build off of it or mm -hmm. build around it yeah so i think like you know this box right here you can't remove i don't think you could remove these so there's like these big huge poles and so i just like built like these like tree trunks around them i mean honestly Um, you, you made it work it looks i wouldn't have even i would have never known that if you didn't tell me that good cool that's that's all that matters um and then uh the pathway actually just goes straight so it just goes straight like this but i made it look wider and Mm -hmm. like a little bit windy um by adding you know like these custom fences on the sides yeah it looks great thank you love all the climbing foliage in here it looks so bright yay yeah, like the lighting hits just right sometimes. Oh my God, they're even squeaking too. I know it's very <laughs> immersive. <right now. laughs> it's very. Immer- this is about as as immersive as it gets without walking through like an actual cave. Yes. <laughs> so here's another example of something that you we couldn't remove. So I just kind of tried to make it work um, as part of like the rock work. Yeah, it looks great. I mean, um, I, it looks like you placed it there. So yeah, same with this. The fruit's cool. Yeah. Oh, there's one on there eating. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Then it's like a little waterfall down here. Nice. Make sure to put some puddles there. Naturally. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Your your puddle placement is on point. (laughs) Good. I'm glad. (laughs) I tried to make it look like they, you know, watered these. And I don't know if these would be on some sort of, like, drip system or if they would actually, like... I would maybe think that these ones they would hose down, which is why I put yeah. I put a hose right here. Yeah, the ones um, on the wall, they probably water manually, but I think everything else is just, there's probably mm-hmm. an irrigation system in there. So yeah. That's great. Thanks. I do, I do, I do really like how it, how it turned out. Um, so these little backstage doors, this would be where they can like cage them or like treat them if there's something wrong with one, I'm assuming. I would think, yeah. I mean, I just, I always see things like this. I, I think it would be. Or like food storage um, or something. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking that, or maybe just like ways to access certain areas without having to walk around the entire building. Maybe. Yeah. yeah that's true. Um, obviously, you know, strictly for keepers. Um, but yeah, I think it's just different points of, of entry so that they don't have to walk nice. around. Um. But I do, yeah, I do really enjoy how this came out. Um, yeah, it took, this one took a while. I will say, though, this was an actual, this was like a pretty quick build. Like, I haven't been working on this for that long. I remember when you showed it to me, it all came together, like, pretty quick, um, mm-hmm. which is not mine or your forte. Uh, <laughs> but I can tell you were, like, really inspired to do this, and it, it tell like, it shows in the work for sure. Okay, good. It doesn't, it definitely, like, I don't, I don't feel like it looks like, ru- like it, it's rushed. Oh, absolutely So not. that's no. all that matters. Um, also, love that you can see yep. <laughs> the dome of the tower from here. <laughs> Always that's keeping why I kept that in this the side. Open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. So then if you come over here, um, you know, I, I love that you can see these windows mm-hmm. um, from here. So that's why I wanted to kind of echo that, those archways over here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I wanted this to look like it was a standalone building before, and then they kind of covered these windows up. Yeah, it's a cool way to, like, it's, it's it, naturally we almost want to make all buildings, like, symmetrical, but sometimes it's nice to have some sort of asymmetry that's, like, similar but different. And I like that one side of it is closed with the, the plant wall, and then one is completely open. Because if you do mm-hmm. end up opening that a little bit to where you can see some of the bonobos in the future. That would be a cool little view you get as you're coming mm-hmm. out. If that's like your intended next destination. Yeah. It, yeah. It's cool. So like 
so i mean we can kind of see out here but this is basically this is where that fountain is and then you go mm -hmm. over here um and yeah you can see you you probably can't see the bonobos from from this window but i always want to make it seem like there's like a destination mm -hmm. to be had um something that's also crazy is just how long you know like i've been building this through like this is all like layers that i've made like this is yeah. that reptile walk yeah um this and it's all like just years and years of tree placement <laughs> <laughs> literally years um yeah and then we have just another backstage um entrance over here as well very cool um yeah and then you just make your way over here and you just exit through here nice great job thank you yeah this was this one was cool love that i didn't fill this um <laughs> this one was cool because it really mixed my love of like exhibit design and also like architecture which yeah. i haven't done a lot of um and i feel like this was like a cool little challenge um for me yeah i mean it's this isn't something you see every day in balboa that's for sure but i mean you knocked mm -hmm. it out of the park which isn't shocking but um mm -hmm. it looks really really good i like it thank I you like i can't imagine it looking better than it does well, thank you. Watch, I like delete it all. <laughs> I know. Next, next year, <laughs> episode ten, it's totally gone. Well, um, I do kind of like how low pro profile this building is, right next mm -hmm. to, because we're getting close to the towers. Yes. Um. So you, I mean, you don't want a ton of things to compete with that view. That's for sure. So I right. think, honestly, I think it looks perfect. Thanks. And I remember for the longest time, I was even asking. I was like, I don't know what to do with this area. Um. Because at the San Diego Zoo, there's like a little, there's like a restaurant here. And, um, you know, we kind of just have, we had that, that coffee shop over there. Mm -hmm. So I really didn't want to do another um, restaurant yet. And I wanted to do some sort of other animal thing. Yeah. Um, but then also I was just like, oh my God, this is going to be so much work. Like I have to build a whole building. Um, and so I dreaded it. But once I started it, it was, I mean, it worked let's, out. Let's be real though. I think this is as close as we're going to get to birds <laughs> and i think it's cool to have some sort of like that flying um feature because mm -hmm. i mean you can see them flying in there as you approach it it's nice to have something to walk through like this could yeah. have been any indoor exhibit but i think this was a really unique one that you chose um shall we look at the rest of the gorilla exhibit yeah okay um all right so you make your way through here this i wanted this to kind of feel like a little bit of an older part of the um the exhibit okay uh it's like the back of the exhibit so it's not they didn't really update it really through the years um but this is like the donor the donor wall um love that you can kind of just see like the the tower back here never gets old <laughs> it doesn't ever ever, ever. <laughs> I love this. Um, um, again, like a there's a constant sense of discovery here. So it's like mm -hmm. naturally you're going to stop to kind of check this wall out and then you're immediately pulled right back in. It's not like you're, mm -hmm. you you never like one thing with your design, which I like, is you never have to stop and say, okay, well, which way do we go next? It kind of right. just like naturally leads you um, where you want them to go. A, a reason why this exhibit took so long is because I had no idea what to do with this side of the exhibit. I didn't know if I wanted this to be like another glass viewing area I, I just didn't know um and actually for the longest time this building over here um was actually here and oh, wow. you entered one of those arches right here and i kind of you know used that the glass viewing area right here and mm -hmm. then i wanted to say like oh this is where like the old primate exhibit was but it was just it was competing too much with this yeah. right here for sure i can see that and while that was that is a cool idea i mm -hmm. i really like this better if i'm being honest with you yeah same so i mean for a while it was it was very much just like going back and forth and then not playing for like months and then you know yeah just yeah um so we have another another you know just copy and paste of of that little sign um and this is like a very wide view of the back of the exhibits and it's like a whole different very a cool. whole different feel um it really is so yeah and you, you can kind of tell like this is this kind of looks like an older it's like a little bit older like there's like this mm -hmm. brick over here 
Um, and this this design to me, where it's just like one huge open thing, it does feel feel a lot older to me. Like this style of viewing. Yeah. Um, and the only thing that they've updated is like the, the you know the fencing around it. When you initially look at this exhibit from the front, where like the glass is, mm -hmm. you kind of just have like a preconceived notion that you don't get to see it from this angle. Right. So it's cool once you actually round that corner, you get like basically full 360 views of this um this exhibit which is really special when we were on this side when i said like i did, really didn't know like what i wanted to do with like mm -hmm. how i wanted to work like the, the the elevation and stuff this this higher portion was very necessary just to hide this yeah. back here i had no idea this was back here when we first started the exhibit right so it's, it's yeah. cool that it's completely hidden Mm -hmm. And like I said before, I, I, I had that whole ass building over here. Yeah. And so, yeah. and, and I, I wanted to make sure that you couldn't see it. So, so that's why I had this. Um, and it's just cool because it's like, sometimes like they stand up here and it, it looks very like nice, really, it's almost looks like regal, like, especially if yeah. they stand here. Um, like it's giving Lion King. It is. Pride it is. If the Lion realness. King was gorilla <laughs> yeah. based. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, and it's just cool being able to again see like this whole reptile area like way over yeah. there and um, you know at the at the base of this is like the tiger area. There's not a single like side of this exhibit that you did not have to manually place something. Right. So it's like you really had to have a solid design in mind like going into it. Um, mm -hmm. Otherwise you would have just got around the corner and then you would have either had to change everything again or just be like, I really don't know how to tie this off. And mm -hmm. it just looks, it looks really, really well made and planned. Thank you. This is so cheesy, but like, I always think that Balboa is like my ship in a bottle project. Like it's just something I like going back to and like tinkering with and mm -hmm. changing things like whenever I want to without the fear of like, oh my gosh, like people watching a YouTube series are going to like be mad because it's like, whatever. Like <laughs> this yeah. is my... This is kind of like my thing that I like going back to and just messing with. But yeah, I mean, um, we've, we've yeah. stated it before, like clearly we don't, it's quality over quantity is kind of like our, our mindset going into it. And it's, mm -hmm. this is almost like art to us. So that's not, not to shade like viewers or anything, but like I, we don't do what we do for like the viewers. We do it because we enjoy it. And this is like an art form to us. And you right. can tell that that's exactly how you feel about um, Broadwell, or I said Broadwell, <laughs> Balbo. I mean, I Shame feel that way about Shameless Broadwell plaque. too. <laughs> All right, so so we have this view over here. When you look at this over here, we just have you know kind of this open view. Yeah. Um, with the tower, this once uh, once this is completed and that fence is gone, this is going to be a bomb ass view. I think I'm going to say it. I think this is your best exhibit that you've made yet. I really think it is. Like it's is like. This is peak remnant television. Right here. <laughs> gorillas, literally not interested. I'm not interested in gorillas. Like it's They're not, not my favorite. I'm going to be honest. No. But I love no. this. Yeah, I can go to the zoo and not come to this exhibit and be fine. Mm -hmm. But it was one of the net. It was like one of the main, like this is in the center of the zoo. Yeah. Um, And in order for me to work on this area, mm -hmm. um, on, on this area over here, I had to get this done just so that I knew how much space I was working with. Right. I love how laid out it is. It, it's very reminiscent of the the one at the Atlanta Zoo because it feels like that thing just goes on forever and ever. Oh my God. And I love all the different viewing angles that you get. And I feel like that it reminds me of that very much. This just goes to show how many, <laughs> how long it's been <laughs> since the last episode, but we've hung out twice. We have, which is sad that it's only been twice, but yeah. like, we you know i i've got to visit josh's home zoo as well um and this like i feel like i wasn't really able to to know what i wanted with this until i saw that exhibit because that gorilla exhibit is amazing yeah and it's big and i also i love how you can kind of tell it's old it's not a yeah. new exhibit it's looked like um, that for as long as i can remember this is very much this was really in inspired by that one when it comes to like these little like hills and cliff faces yeah but with but with the the very small space that the san diego zoo has so um i'm glad that you mentioned that because i actually just completely forgot but that was a huge inspiration for Good. for this exhibit i like that so we're going to take a look at like the backstage area now um so you made this <laughs> I um, i'm gonna and... nerd out for a sec you know where this fence is from 
right? The parking yes. lot of the zoo. It was literally <laughs> the first thing that I saw and I was like, hold please. And I like, yeah. I'm over here snapping pictures of this fence and I know Nikki and Andrew were just like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Like we are yeah. not going to do this all day. <laughs> but you, you built this for another area of the park and it was mm -hmm. yeah it was very much from that from the parking lot <laughs> of the san diego zoo um and i kind of just like how it how it looked right here it's like yeah. uh, it's weird it's almost like a little moment yeah, but it's, it's, it's very generic thing. and it's honestly it's a fence that you would see almost in any zoo thank you for your contribution <laughs> <laughs> my one of two contributions yeah <laughs> yes i i definitely love the other contribution too um, so we're down here. This is obviously closed, but you can kind of see like the beginning of what this plaza is going to be. It's like this mm -hmm. cool, like curved um, arbor, I guess. Yeah, I love that arbor. It's great. And I love, is that the the twilight walls? Um, these oh no, these no 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 the the wall back behind the benches is that the twilight? Yes. See, yes. every time I see them, I'm like, those look so freaking good, and then I always forget to use them. Oh my gosh, I need use to them. use them use them even if it's not for like you know a full wall like it's great yeah. for just little planters like planters like this. is great yeah right through here is the back entrance of of wyatt's orangutan exhibit oh, okay um and so this backstage is kind of like the back it's not the backstage for the orangutans it's it's still the backstage for the for the um the gorillas but it, it backs up right to like so this is like the oh, walkway I see. I see. Yeah, you, you can kind of even see, like, you can yeah. see peaks of, like, the orangutans right here. Very cool. Those wooden planters are so good. Thanks. Okay, yes, not from the workshop, but this is an original. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is something that you see all the time, like, uh, anywhere. A thousand percent, yeah. And really, it's just so that this this building can be hidden from this path over here. Uh-huh. I, I, I kind of struggled. I didn't know if I wanted it to be super clean and super crisp, but, like... I feel like you like there's there's a lot of areas in in the San Diego Zoo that are kind of gross yeah. <laughs> and like and so you know for a backstage I think you know yeah I, I can get away with with doing some of that even like with this kind of unfinished like they just have like uh these like wood wooden barriers rather than like a, a yeah. cemented curb yeah um is that my trash um compactor it is oh I didn't this? know that. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, I have three I, contributions. I, I feel so special. That's so <laughs> true. Yes. I, I use these. I love using your trash wherever I can. Love that. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. This is uh, Christina. Christina made these. Oh um, so good. I think she made them for Broadwell, but they were on the workshop, so I did not steal them. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're free to use, but I think they debuted in Broadwell, if I'm not they mistaken. Did. They did. Um, so kind of crazy. So this is the entrance to that, that, um, orangutan exhibit. Sadly, I did have to get rid of the Bintrong, which was right here. Mm -hmm. Um, just because I just, I needed room for this backstage. Um, and they'll, they'll be moved somewhere else, but I do like that. You can kind of see the walkway through here. Yeah. Um, there, well, there's so many spots like that at San Diego zoo where you were like, right oddly close to a backstage area but it's just totally your your eye is diverted because of a fence with ivy on it <laughs> or yeah or it's some so sort true. of foliage that kind of breaks that that immediate view yeah and that's the thing like san diego zoo is it's it's large but it's there's not a lot of space um like they have they have used every inch yeah for the most part i was gonna say like these gorillas zoo. they have used every square inch that they can um so this is your contribution so good staircase. this is <laughs> it's it's such a good stair and this is like this is how weird like dumb and we geek out over like <laughs> for something like this i was so excited it, to make this <laughs> it looks so good and this is this is how this is like when it like how um you know like how lazy i am when it comes to like building mm -hmm. i didn't even like i was like i i want to i want to do this like i want to have this in here and um I just didn't. So I, I showed this to you. I was like, how does this look? Like, does this? And I think there was just like a ladder. Yeah, and, um, it was just a straight ladder, I think. <laughs> yeah. And I like, so I did this, I think, right? Did I, I did this. You did the Maybe catwalk. You added yeah. to it. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're, I added the horizontal portion of that catwalk or I, I reworked it somehow because I needed to make it work with the staircase. But you had done most of the, the catwalk for the most part. 
Okay. Yeah. And I, I did, I definitely did like this and you added all of like this stuff, which is great yes. um, and very much needed. Um, and, and I was just like, I don't know what to do. And then, so you like took the file and then I saw this and I was like, oh my God. And it, it just looks so good. And this is all font pieces. Yeah. I, which I, I amazed was, me. Yeah. I was struggling to find like the color that I was looking for. It was hard to find in materials other than those font pieces that weren't going to look weird, unfortunately. Right. So it, it is kind of piece heavy for what it is, but I think it's fine. Um, but I do love how this came out and I do love that it's like bright ass yellow and like, <laughs> it's just, it's yeah. so, it looks so real, like yeah. so realistic to what you would see in another backstage somewhere else. And this is, um, you know, that little glimpse of, of yeah. backstage that you see when you <laughs> first enter the, the glass exhibit, area. Which is cool. Yeah. Just overall, this whole backstage area back here, it's it's perfect. It serves its purpose well. And this comes out right over at the fountain, I'm assuming, like the big fountain by the coffee Correct. shop. Correct. Yep. So we're right back to where we were. Like, nice. obviously, you wouldn't take this way to come back. But, right. Um, But there will be a way, I think. Yeah. So what you would do is you would go through this exhibit to that plaza, and then you can go through Wyatt's exhibit Mm -hmm. um, and then you can come back out here if you really do want to do a loop. There's a, a lot of different ways that you can go about it, which is why it's important to kind of make like a 360 kind of yeah, layout. Agreed. Um, when you can. If you're going to build an exhibit in the middle of the zoo, like you can't just have one side. Like it has to be pretty yeah. three-dimensional. Because it is viewable on every side. Like you really had to stop and think like you had to have a, a clear idea of what you wanted to do before you even went in. And I think mm -hmm. that's very much apparent. You can see it's not a lot of space. It's literally just this. Yeah, okay. I, I did think it was much bigger than that. Right? Like, it's it's not. So you can see all five viewing areas right here. And they're, like, they're all, like, they're all just hidden well Yeah. Um, from each other. Even looking from above, I can spot three. Yeah. Like distinct ones, like some mm -hmm. of those you just assume are like flower beds that surround it. You don't even realize that mm -hmm. when you're walking around it, you can see straight in, which is cool. I might want to just work on this plaza and then it would be cool to work on the valley that's underneath because that's a whole like Asian area, um, yeah. which is still kind of jungly, but it's very different. I can't wait until you get to the red pandas. That was yes. like, that area was so cute. Yeah, that's something that I, I really want to work on. And, and also, um, you know. Cor uh, incorporate the 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 actual panda um as well but, like they still yeah. have those um well i know you're yeah. probably ready to be done with this but it, it is a masterpiece and you did a really really good job thank you and i, I will say like like uh, it was funny because the other day i was watching the african area one and you said like like you know please don't delete this because it looks amazing and <laughs> Like, and what did you um, do? <laughs> um, I did it specifically because you said that. I was just like, you know what? <laughs> Screw you. F Josh. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> so, no. But it's like with this one, I can honestly say like I, I will not be deleting this. Um, just because I feel like we have the pieces that we needed to make yeah. this look really good. Um, and it it this this came out exactly like how I wanted it to. It's not even like, oh, like I could have done this a different way and you yeah. know but this turned out exactly like how i wanted it to so um i'm really happy with it this won't be getting deleted anytime soon um <laughs> please don't <laughs> yes but i will say i guess i just said it that whole african area that i made um to the viewers that are watching this it's gone control <laughs> so, control all uh, delete. <laughs> it's been it's just gone it's not even like oh i got rid of some stuff like it's not there anymore yeah, um <laughs> so that might be one of the next things. I Ricey did like a really cool um, restaurant interior that I haven't even seen yet. So um, yeah, I can't wait to know, see that. Right. So we'll we'll do something soon. Um, maybe like a 0.5 kind of episode um, just to show that off so that I don't have to keep her waiting because I feel bad. Cool. Well, this has been episode nine. It's been sorry. It was like a little bit jumbled, but I'm sure editing will make this look a lot better. <laughs> if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Also, please subscribe to Josh because he um, is working on his own project, uh, Broadwell Zoo. And I promise um, it's also not dead. <laughs> It's not dead. It is. It's. It's been. Uh. It's been worked on. Um, yeah. I was working on it last night. It's just 
I, like you said, we're perfectionist. And at some point in time, I've just got to stick with an entrance that I like and just that'll be that. In the meantime, you can watch kind of like the prequel saga to to Broadwell Zoo, which is the the gardens, the the botanical gardens that uh, Christina and Haribo did. So go yeah. ahead, please subscribe to Josh. Also, we have a series together called Twin Palms. So check that out. Um, it's on both of our channels. So there's, there's a lot to look forward to in the future. We just can't really tell you at all when it's going to be happening. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, I hope that you guys have a great uh, rest of your day and um, stay tuned for more in the future. And we'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Bye. I feel let like me, this is going to be like your best episode. Really? Yeah.